Wednesday evening, Hugo Burlap is buried. The world mourns a great international statesman. And trouble brewing in the Caribbean, Maguadoran troops seize British Santa Maya. Three days after it happened, Americans are still stunned by the tragic death of the man who was our best-loved president of this century. 78-year-old Hugo Burlap died peacefully at the White House on Sunday after challenging a reporter to slug him in the stomach with a crowbar as proof of his physical fitness. Vice President Barbara Adams was sworn in at noon yesterday to the job she thought she would never hold, that of the most powerful leader in the Western world. Hugo Burlap personified the American dream. For a man to rise from a humble circus clown to President of the United States, I believe speaks volumes for our democratic tradition. And I am proud to step into his shoes. To the world, he was an ambassador for peace, truth, and the American ideal. But to citizens in his hometown of Cleveland, Ohio, he will always be Uncle Yuck Yuck, star of the Big Top. And it was in Cleveland at 11.30 this morning that the president was finally laid to rest according to his last wishes. <laughs> Members of the president's family were joined by heads of state and prime ministers from across the globe in an act of homage to the man who shaped the course of modern America. What then of our nation's new chief executive, Barbara Jacqueline Adams? Shrewd, sensible, compassionate, scrupulously honest, she has overcome all these handicaps to become president of the United States. Right now, her major concern will be the crisis in Central America, where 24 hours ago, Maguadoran tanks rolled into British Santa Maya. Reaction in London was swift. Mr. Speaker, I do not propose to sink to the opposition's petty level by explaining why the invasion took place. What is paramount now is the safety of the Santa Maya people. Throughout history, we in these islands have nurtured the twin flowers of freedom and equality. Liberty is our birthright, Mr. Speaker. Democracy will prevail. Meanwhile, in Santa Maya... I give you your new Presidente, Generalissimo Francisco Nicarna Mosquera. The new military ruler met with a frosty reception. People! of Santa Maya. Today, you are liberated from the British imperialists. You are, once again, free citizens of the Republic of Magadora. How will President Adams respond to Mosquera's action? Well, one man whose advice she will be listening to is former president Jack Preston, author of the book Commie Bastards I Have Known and a leading authority on Caribbean affairs. Tomorrow morning, she'll be flying out to California for top-level consultations with the former president in an attempt to defuse this potentially explosive situation. Yes, sir. 
Uh, we have an appointment to see the former president of the United States. Uh, yes, sir. President Preston is expecting you. Right through there and to your left. Thank you very much. Hi. Madam President. Mr. President. <laughs> Mark! <laughs> Bill! <laughs> Great to see you again. So, Mr. President, how's life? Oh, still serving it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, Mr. President, I don't know if they let you see newspapers here, but we've been having some problems down in the Caribbean. Oh, I heard about that, sure. Up till now, our support for mascara has been ironclad. Oh, he eats commies for breakfast, right? At the same time, Britain is our oldest ally in the world. Sure, sure. Listen, in my estimation, this is a whole dish of worms that could squeal antsy in the long ticket. We need to hump out wide, hype up the squeak bag before they screw down the jam box. Excuse me. Always fox the grease monkeys. They won't tango till you crack down the fish pot. You can't risk hell shit with a bunch of Lulu pig suckers! So, to give our support to Britain would be entirely... The only solution. The only solution, right. You see, you can't empty your fish pan till the heat's off the mugwash. Always take down the gizmo and caveat the cranker before... Mr. President, it's... Been an education. A pleasure, madam. Uh, 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 Bill! <laughs> what a guy. I can just tell you that the president has persuaded both sides to meet across the table, and these talks will take place in Miami tomorrow. Ed Gardner, Tribune? Yeah. Will the president be chairing these talks herself? Uh, no, there'll be no U.S. presence. Uh, Bob Sangster, Newsweek. Mm. Does the president feel Magda Dora can be persuaded to withdraw from British soil? Oh, I think she's still hopeful. Yeah. Ron Horrocks, Reader's Digest. Yeah. Has the president ever yearned to own a hand-tooled guide to the waterways of Manitoba? Yes, well, when the talks broke for lunch, Bob, uh, what did the British Foreign Secretary have to say? Well... <laughs> Did he seem like he was in a good mood? Was he joking or laughing or... When you say walking with a stoop, Bob, how do you mean that exactly? that while the international peace talks between Great Britain and Mogador are taking place, security checks will be in operation. We apologize for any inconvenience. Hold it! What do you got in the trunk? Oh, uh, just a little merchandise. Merchandise? What kind of merchandise? Oh, just uh, a few samples. See, see, I'm a traveling salesman. Uh, Wanger's the name. Uh, Richard uh, Milhouse Wanger of Wanger, Whipple & Waddy. It's your manufacturers of games and novelties. Probably heard of us. No. Open the trunk. Oh, oh, you, you bet. Boy, it uh, sure is hot today, isn't it? What is all this crap? Duodino Ulcer? Yeah, that's uh, one of our new executive games. Very popular, Madison Avenue. Spunky Spaniel. <laughs> Oh, he's a whole heap full of buns, sir. See, you just put the batteries in here, and then you clamp it on a friend's leg, and away the little fella goes. It's all very, uh... Uh-oh. Oh, my goodness. Are you OK? Uh, uh, no, no, it, it's nothing. It's, it's just a small bout of swamp fever contracted during a Snoopy Doll Symposium in the Upper Congo. I, I'll, I'll be all right. Well, uh, what do you got here? Uh, some kind of a security alert? Hey, yeah, you got that right. The Magadora Peace Talks. Floors 7 through 15 are strictly off limits. Oh, yes. Off limits. 
What's under this down here? Uh, <coughs> my God, M my teeth are coming loose. <coughs> I hope this isn't contagious. I wouldn't want Oh, anyone... my God, get this out of here. Jesus, move it, move it, move it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And stay on your own floor. Next. Very hopeful the sovereignty question, does it? Still, there may yet be a compromise formula we can find. I have a feeling it's going to be a very long afternoon. Sick, man. Contracted hepatitis from a septic squeegee. Guy just been sent down here by the agency. Agency? Yeah. Wax a hatchy window care. High rise maintenance in 47 states. And an equal opportunity employer. Jesus Christ. No, no. My name is Nitz, man. Conway Nitz the third. What's the matter with you? Oh, man, I forgot to introduce you to my dog Hack. Well, I tell you, without this little Labrador, I'd be blinder than a bug in a badger's backside. Say, why don't you guys help me into this cradle? And we can burn some rubber on this glass. Uh, listen, I don't figure this at all. I'm gonna call my boss. Uh, you stay right here. You hear me? Get some smokes! <laughs> <clears throat> 